Here we go again. Still talking about Black Beauty. That Jonathan Green Ultra Supreme Grass Seed. Cut my grass today. This is about the middle of uh, March 2020. So we're like seven months or so into the experiment. I made a video last week, but that was before I cut the grass. Just cut the grass today. I got a bare spot here. And that's because this is where I had my utility trailer with all the firewood packed on it for a couple of months. This bare spot is where I had my sawbuck. And... Uh, killed all the grass but as you can see it's starting to fill back in rest of it just looks absolutely spectacular uh, I say at every video I could not be happier with the results I've seen from this Jonathan Green Black Beauty Ultra Supreme it, it's just amazing I've cut grass all, all winter long. I think the longest I went was uh, two and a half weeks. Usually it was like every uh, seven or eight days. I don't know what's all in this, uh, this bag of seed. But uh, if you want to grow grass and you have sunlight, I can't think of anything better. It's crazy. Now, admittedly, I still don't have leaves on most of my hardwood trees. Uh, cherry trees blooming. Bradford pears have already bloomed and turned green. Uh, we've had a mild winter here in North Carolina. I mean, just outside of Raleigh, North Carolina. So, uh, you can use that as a you know, as a standard of where you're at. If you're in Virginia, things might be a little different. If you're in Florida, much different. But this is how things have turned out for me. On my last video, I talked about the clover. Uh, it's turning yellow. I bought some of that ortho clover killer. Put it on there about four days ago. And already it's starting to turn yellow. I'll give you an update in another week or two and let you know what happened. Today's temperature is in the 50s, lows in the 40s. Next week, predicting at least one day in the 80s. So, I think our growing season is going to start early. But listen, if you had one grass to buy, this is it. Jonathan Green, Black Beauty, Ultra Supreme. Take my word for it. I, I've been dealing with this for 14 years. I've never had grass last this long or look this good. Give it a try. It's going to cost you like 85 bucks for I don't know what size bag. But you, you can see I, I did my whole front yard. I did from that Christmas tree all the way over to my driveway that's at least 5,000 square feet right yeah my house is 60 foot long so we're looking at probably a hundred foot by I don't know 60 50 at least 5,000 square feet. It's just amazing. The only problem I have is that there's some differences in the coloration. I don't know what caused that. Like right here, you can look at this, how dark this grass seems and how light the grass right next to it seems. I didn't mix the seed up before I spread it out I used a spreader a rotary spreader 
I just dumped it into the into the bin and started walking. But maybe I should have shook it up or something. I, I you know I'm just guessing. I'm no expert at this. For all I know, you know, it doesn't matter. But in my mind, I'm thinking maybe some seeds were smaller than others. You know, just like a box of cereal. You can shake a box of cereal and you end up with all the big stuff on top. So, for whatever reason, did not get even coverage. But I can tell you this right now, in another month or two, I'm going to go buy me another bag of this stuff and put it out just as insurance against the uh, the days when all these oak trees, elm trees, dogwood trees, and numerous other trees start uh, foliating. I want to give it the best shot possible. All right, so far so good. Uh, the evaluation is not over. We're going to see what happens in the summer. I'm thinking about installing a ram pump down at the creek. I got a creek at the end of the field there. And uh, I've never tried irrigating in the summertime. We're going to see how this goes. This, this could be the greatest success story in the history of planting a yard. After all the failures I've had. But if you at least want some temporary uh, excitement, buy this Jonathan Green. It, it, it's just great compared to everything else. I mean, I've got Scots from the Christmas tree down to the uh, to the cooker down there to the barbecue grill. That little section there is Scots, and it looks okay. But if I was close to it, there. You would see there's absolutely no comparison between the quality of that grass and this stuff right here. Well, with the exception of the clover. But I planted clover here in my front yard. I did not plant clover down there last year. So hopefully this clover will go away and Jonathan Green will continue to do what it's been doing for six or seven months and I'll give you another update later thanks for watching